almost everyone who has experienced a total solar eclipse has thought, what must this have been like for people in the distant past? Well, Gordon, can you uh, can you help to to shed any light on this question? Eclipses, not only being of very short duration, occur very, very infrequently. So in the past, most people would have at most witnessed one eclipse, and many people would not have seen any of them. Uh, and of course, uh, until very recently, we had no idea what, what caused them. So people would have been wondering, these would have seemed like a really unusual and remarkable event. Uh, in those times, of course, people always attributed to all of these events to various deities of one sort or another that were moving things. So um, they would have seen these as some message from some sort of deity uh, that was uh, telling them something. Um, now, Gordon, you've mentioned that uh, eclipses are infrequent events. And I mean, that means that we've never been able to uh, develop an, an evolutionary response uh, to these uh, to these events. Um, in that case, what kind of evolutionary responses do we fall back on when there is an eclipse? Well, the way these events uh, became incorporated into culture was in the form of stories. So you would uh, have an explanation of the event, and that would be passed down uh, verbally. We are, in a sense, the storytelling animal. And until very recently, we didn't have reading or writing, and even today, many people don't have it. So the way culture was passed on were these stories that were probably shared around the campfire night after night, and uh, everybody remembered them. Uh, and so there were the, uh, if the event occurred again, there might be some response to it that the story uh, enabled people to make. For example, uh, uh, tsunamis are infrequent, but they're a bit more frequent than uh, solar eclipses. And people have stories about tsunamis. And one of the uh, the, the last tsunami uh, off, off of uh, Sumatra, uh, a local culture to the north, did have a tsunami story. And they knew that when the sea uh, re went away, that the water dropped, uh, that they rather than going down to see what, what was in the new intertidal, they should run for the hills, which they did, and they were saved, whereas people who did not have a tsunami story went down to look at the water, and then the, the tsunami wave came in and they died. So these stories uh, can be useful of, in generating some sort of response to uh, an unusual event, even though uh, the story didn't necessarily explain why the event occurred, uh, the tsunami stories, nobody knew what made the tsunami, what happened to it, but they knew that, uh, remembered that when it happened last time, uh, this is what you should have done. If people are out, uh, surrounded by nature, if, they, uh, if they're near any animals or plants, mm -hmm. what are some of the kind of things they should be looking out for during the eclipse? Of course, what happens during an eclipse, it gets dark. Uh, it gets dark at the wrong time but it gets dark and uh, getting dark is something that happens to animals and plants every day so there are responses to that uh, and depending on when it occurs and what's and what the time of the year etc if there are flowers around you and and some some plants have flowers that the timing of the blossoming relates to the sun cycle and you might see some flowers uh, closing if it's a time of the year when birds are singing a lot almost certainly what will happen is that the birds will stop singing as it gets dark. Uh, and they may resume singing again in a few minutes because the uh, eclipse lasts, lasts such a short time. Uh, for mammals, uh, uh, many of whom are nocturnal anyway, uh, they would have been asleep when this was going on. But if your dog or cat is around, we've made them into diurnal animals, even if the ancestors weren't necessarily. And they'll probably just curl up. And, and relax. So there, there will be some responses, but again, it's just what you would expect to an animal. Okay, it's getting dark. What, what, what happens normally? And, and that is a daily event. Gordon, thank you very much indeed for joining us today and, uh, and for sharing your experience uh, and insight. Been a pleasure, and thank you for uh, including me in your program. The Great American Eclipse. Monday, August 21st, live on timeanddate.com.
www.thepeopleshow.com.